Mahtawin aog si Mantuk, pinanas ko ma umiyo minagita ka piyawit. Ano umiyo ay sinilas ki umatsyo muktiyon. Gwas si ko tagi wikong pnaok kay nantong gitimi. Ganong gismam si ko tagi anong kisagit na wao. I want to thank the Creator for loaning me yet another day in this physical world. And I ask you to please forgive me for how I'm about to make you feel. There is a saying that goes, The tragedy of life is not death. It's what we let die inside of us while we live. The ancestors came last night and delivered a message. Igutoy migo ano sa isino tawi wapatam tan sa ni tagih tigong kawan gisk sino ma kana naskumwing kita tukisigo. That humanity is about to realize what happens when you don't wake up with gratitude when you don't have gratitude in your life mischid ai sinu anot mi twagid mat soon we ta taxkoat na gawe skiwa go twas in so he wa we pinata the ancestors said that there are people within humanity who are playing with life who are disrespecting Mother Earth and in the process they are throwing their children away. The world has forgotten what it is to have gratitude in life. If humanity understood the power of gratitude, we would not have the chaos, the confusion, the mayhem, and the destruction happening on the back of Mother Earth. Magnista niga nasukumog mahtao inuag, but I want to honor and have gratitude for all the light workers, the star seeds, and the chosen elect who are doing their part to help the people in their time of pain, need, and suffering. The ancestors said there are people who are taking life for granted while there's other parts of the world. Children are losing their lives. Families are losing their homes. Families are losing loved ones. And there are parts of the world where there are people who are realizing as they take their very last breath before they begin their spirit journey, saying to themselves, I should have, I could have, living their life in their dying moments. There are people who are kicking Mother Earth for everything she brings to life every day. The earth, the wind, the water, the fire, and have fooled themselves into believing that they are speaking and honoring Mother Earth while they get on an airplane to go visit a part of Mother Earth just for the sake of going to visit and explore that part of life. And there's nothing wrong with that. But right now, Mother Earth is reacting to what we've done to her as a human family. When what the world knew as, the, as COVID happened, Mother Earth was able to rest and heal herself. The water became clean, the air became clean, the land became clean. But humanity forgot to acknowledge the lesson and the teaching behind that and is going back to what it was pre-COVID. Yes, life is truly sacred and life is truly meant to be lived. But the choices humanity is making in these challenging and interesting times is why natural law is visiting humanity, is why children are losing their lives, families are losing loved ones, war is happening throughout the back of Mother Earth because these leaders have forgotten the true sacredness and sanctity of life. 
magwistwa aso at wapa tamog. The ancestors said they are about to see what happens when you take that role of leadership for granted. That is why the elders say, as a leader, you have to be mindful of the choices you make because your words and your actions will affect those that you lead. And there are those who are playing with what we have always known as spirituality and not honoring and understanding why natural law was created. You can't say one thing to the people and turn around and do the opposite, the elders say. These protocols have been put in place for a reason. And when it comes to natural law, unfortunately you can run, but you cannot hide. The creator sees and knows what it is that we do on this physical journey we call life. There are institutions structures in this world right now that are breaking and overstepping natural law. Hence why certain nations within Mother Earth are facing extreme natural disasters. Because once you break the laws of nature for profit, for greed, for money, for ego, is the time you have set natural law in motion. Always be mindful, always be careful of the words and their actions. And for those light workers, those star seeds, those chosen elect are doing the work to find that balance emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. The old people say, the elders had said, the ancestors had said, you will go a long way in life. And for those of you who are not fulfilling those spiritual contracts, you will come to realize what it is that you take for granted. Because one of the other sayings go, if you do not respect what you have in life, it will be taken from you. And only when it is gone will you realize what it meant to you after it is gone. Be the change you want to see. And if you're truly going to honor our Mother Earth, be mindful of your decisions. Be mindful of the choices you are making. Because the Creator loved us enough to grant us free will. We are free to make choices. We're not free from the consequences. If you do good things, good things will come. If you do bad things, bad things will come. Natural law was created to govern our words and our actions.